Hello YouTube, here's my boy. Press the invitation bell in the subscribe button in below. <laughs> and thank you. And thank you. Hello everyone. Today we're on our way to San Carlos. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about our little minivan. It's an EA64V automatic transmission with a turbo. So it's pretty spunky for a three cylinder engine, 660cc's. We've owned it approximately eight months now. And I'm sure you want to know, would I buy another one? Well, yes I would. Even though we've had some issues. And uh, that's going to be normal on a fresh assembly. One that's been freshly put together. I recommend if you live in the provinces, away from the major dealerships, it's, more, it's, it's a good little vehicle to buy to drive. The reason we didn't buy new, I'll just be honest with you, we're, we're approximately three to four hours away from any major dealership, and you have to do all your service work with the dealership. That means oil changes and so forth, in order to maintain the warranty. Uh, now, we bought our little van from a assembler in Cebu, and if you like, look it up. It's Jojo Auto Works. Now, the reason I mention his name is because he has been honest with us. He gave us a 30-day warranty, and he's went beyond that point. And uh, we had a turbo issue to begin with, and he he took care of that at no extra charge. They also replaced the suspension arms, which consist of the ball joints on each end of them, and of course the rubber bushings and so forth. And there's numbers of other things that they uh, took care of during that 30 days. Which I am happy that someone finally honored a warranty. That's something that is a rare treat in this country. Now, you'll see if you live here. Now fuel mileage, well I average around here somewhere between 12, 10 or 12 mostly because of the uh, dirt road we travel, or, you know, at slow speed and so forth. But if we take a trip to Domagetti, we get 16 kilometers per liter. And that's pretty good considering, you know, it's that's using the air conditioner. We, we're in the vehicle, we do use our air conditioner. Now, being that these vehicles were average, probably between 10 to 11 years of age, you will have things happen. Little things. Now, we just replaced the uh, transmission shift cable. It got really hard to shift. And, uh, I and getting parts of these, that's another issue thing too. If you're going to buy a vehicle, make sure you buy something you can find parts for. And there's a lot of these little vans on the road, so parts are available. Uh, I have gotten a number of things. I had to have a drive shaft because the universal joint went bad. And this happens to have those joints that you have. Uh, are supposed to be non-replaceable, but you can. But the main issue was I had a carrier bearing, or center bearing as they call it, that is non-replaceable. The only way you can replace it is cut it out and re-weld. Well, I didn't want to do that. So, I did get another drive shaft. Now, I could not find brand new. But I found a, a used one that is good. I have found a supplier for that. And I got a supplier for new parts too. Which I'm glad. Because I've ordered things like wiper blades and air filters and things like that at a very reasonable price compared to what they want here for those items uh, 
in San Carlos. And we're getting ready to go through a checkpoint up here. You know, sometimes they will ask for a vaccination card. But they've seen us cross here so many times, if we don't have new people, they won't stop us. And they didn't have new people, so we didn't have to stop. Now, I've added a few things to this vehicle upon the initial purchase. I did put the uh, the roof rack on it, and I did have them build me the uh, storage boxes, which also serves dual purpose as seats, so I can have additional packs. that and uh, I did change the oil from uh, the normal oil to synthetic now initial delivery of the van I had the transmission fluid changed and it was it was fairly dirty so it's probably never been changed or if it had it's been a long time So, I had planned on changing it two times, which uh, I kind of got forced into it anyway, because the uh, people that changed the fluid on me, uh, I was unaware, they didn't put a gasket on me. They used the uh, gasket in a tube, as they say. Being that the transmission pan is made of steel, and the transmission is aluminum, they actually expanded and contracted at two different rates. And guess what? Yep, it developed a leak. So I found me a supplier for a new gasket and filter, and I changed it again. Which I'm glad I did because I had planned it anyway. And I instructed the mechanic on how to properly install the gasket. Because, to be honest with you, they didn't know. As you can see, the little vehicle does very, it performs very well. The air conditioning is great. We had to replace the uh, lower motor uh, about two weeks ago. Which, that's understandable. Again, you've got to realize these vehicles are older and you won't have these things. So if you decide on one of these, uh, just be prepared if you get a new assembly and uh, if you happen to find one that's uh, for sale by a previous owner uh, try to quiz them and see if you can get some information on the vehicle I really don't like buying a used vehicle from another person here in the Philippines unless it's in some cases where it's a foreigner getting ready to leave the country and he's not planning on coming back. Generally, those are should be a good vehicle. I've never done that. But that's about the only way I probably would buy from uh, a uh, previous old vehicle here in the Philippines. Because these roads are pretty rough. And, and most people will not maintain them. But if you watch them drive these brand new vehicles, uh, you'd understand why. They literally abuse them in most cases. They don't care how rough the road is. Uh, they they abuse them. <laughs> they just you just have to be here to see it. And driving here is another experience. I've been driving here almost 12 years personally and it's never it's, 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 this place here you cannot afford the sights you have to keep your mind focused on driving 
because they, they will pull out in front of you, do U-turns in front of you, uh, counter flow will come at you head on. And you'll notice, especially on motorcycles, for some odd reason, the majority of them that you see, they get rid of the mirrors, so they don't know what's coming up behind him. This is a rare one here, he's got his mirrors. And another one up there, wow. Two in a row, what do you think about that? It is not unusual to see a brand new motorcycle with a temporary registration with no mirrors. You know it come with a branded set of mirrors. I bought three motorcycles personally, that's how I know. I couldn't manage without mirrors on my motorcycle, period. Vehicle the same way, I've got to have my mirrors. I can't back up without mirrors. That's another thing too. If they get a tail light, go out, or whatever, or turn signal, majority of them won't fix it. They just drive it. You see that quite regular here too. Now let's get back to the DA64V. They are several different versions of this particular van. Now you got the Avery, which is an upper level. It will have more features. Personally, I've not experienced the Avery. But the, most of them will come with the power sliding doors. And options of that nature. If you don't know what the beeping is, that's my vote meter. Anytime it falls below 13 volts, it beeps. And I can't turn it off. I didn't know it would do that when I ordered it. And I did order a temperature gauge, which for some odd reason does not give a correct temperature now. It worked fantastic to about a week ago. I think that every has all those instruments already. I think that's a standard feature on those. I don't know. Again, I've not gone there ever. we actually got an opportunity to look at one close. If you're looking for a personal vehicle where you can carry a few passengers, I highly recommend the DA-64. Now, the loader trucks are DA-63s which will have the same identical engine. Then the cab will be similar. The only difference is on the pickups, uh, I don't think the seats are adjustable. As you can see, the motorcycle didn't know which way it wanted to go. To one side and the next. That's another thing driving here. If a motorcycle in front of you goes to the far right, be prepared for a left turn. I don't know why they do that. They always go to the far right before they make a 90 degree turn. And I still haven't gotten used to that over the years. Another thing too, if you decide to buy one of these, do a little research and find you a reliable mechanic that will actually listen to you. Especially if you're like me, I am mechanically inclined. I have worked on vehicles in the past. I have good knowledge on how they operate. And getting one to listen to you is really a task. I've had experiences trying to deal with mechanics, and they think they know more than you do. In some cases, they probably do, but, when, but in my case, the things I wanted done, they didn't want to do it my way. 
and it caused me more problems and more money. So you need to find a reliable mechanic that's stable, experienced, and know what they're doing. I've got two of them, by the way, two different places. And because I don't like to keep my apples in one basket. And that's some of the advice I can give you. Again, if you want to live in a city, uh, it's up to you if you want one of these. And it's less money than brand new, by the way. The average price of these will range from around 250,000 pesos. Some places ask more, some a little less. Of course, the every is always a little more money. By the way, mine is an all-wheel drive. Now, if you don't live off-road like I do, that would probably would not be necessary. Two-wheel drive would do you a fine job. It'd probably get a little better fuel mileage. And they do have them in manual transmissions for those that like to shift gears. I bought the automatic because my intention is I plan on trying to teach my saw on how to drive my wife. Just that we've never, here in the past few months, we've not had the, the time or we've had mechanical problems. I didn't feel safe enough for her to be driving. And we're getting closer to San Carlos. Traffic's picked up. And I'm waiting to get an opening to get around. It accelerates very well. It's not a powerhouse, but it's it's a big difference from when we was driving our multi-cab. On the fuel injection and turbo, it's uh, uh, just, it's just a big difference. I'm amazed that I get just a little better fuel mileage over my multi-cab. Even though this is a big box, and it's probably three times the weight. But you got to look, it's, the multi-cab was close to 30 year old. Carbureted. A whole lot less horsepower. can survive here without transportation. A little tougher out in the province is where I live, especially in the jungle. If you live in the city, it's, it's not really a big issue. There's transportation is a four point. You can get around. Oh, by the way, if you do buy one of these surplus vehicles, make sure it's got urethane paint on it. Some places will use the enamel paint and about a one year lifespan is all it has, I know from experience. Uh, especially on you know, this sun here will actually kill enamel paint. Now the urethane thing does very well. This one here hasn't shown any signs of uh, sun damage. Our little multi-cab just in a few months, uh, <laughs> it was discolored, especially on top panels. And where are we now? We're, we're at city limits, and we got a little puppy just trying to walk out in traffic. And we got two brand new hardwares here. One city hardware, and then we got another here called Tru <clears throat> Trumpet, which is uh, open, but it's not stopping very good yet. <coughs> Both of them are very huge.
early this morning, so we'll have to wait on the bank. But that's okay. It allows us more time to get our business done. San Carlos has changed a lot since uh, we first came here. So folks, thanks for viewing. Please take care and please subscribe, like, and share.